Number 10. The Chinese Mummy Archaeologists in China recently made one of the most shocking discoveries in archaeology history. They didn't know what kind of chemical reaction they were about to let loose, but it would make even a jaded scientist's jaw drop. It happened when they uncovered an ancient burial area from 300 years ago in Hunan province. Two of the bodies buried here were nothing more than pale skeletons. However, a third was perfectly preserved, at least until something unexpected started happening. The Chinese archaeologists were baffled, claiming that when they first opened the man's coffin, his face was so fresh that it looked like he had just died yesterday. Even more bizarre was what happened in the hours following his coffin being opened. First, his face started to go black. Next, a disturbing smell started wafting from his body. In just a few hours, the perfectly preserved corpse had turned completely black, aging 300 years almost instantaneously. According to Dr. Lucas Nickel from the University of London, the coffin in which the man was buried had been covered in charcoal. The charcoal provided some type of barrier, which meant that bacteria was unable to reach the body for 300 years. But the moment air touched the man's flesh, 300 years of disintegration was activated, and the man decayed almost immediately. Number 9. Alien Creatures on the Beach Thousands of creepy creatures washed up on a beach in the UK looking like tiny alien pods. It was Izzy MacArthur who first noticed the transparent creatures scattered across the shore in South Wales and shared pictures of them online. There were thousands of the things looking as if they had dropped right out of space. Izzy didn't know what to make of them, and neither did her friends online. Izzy also said that the longer she stood on the beach, the more the creepy creatures showed up. They were literally rolling in with the tide, freaking out everybody who was there to witness this bizarre phenomenon. But as it turned out, the creatures were actually sea gooseberries. Not at all from space, but they are still creepy marine monsters, with tentacles up to 20 times larger than their actual body. They use these tentacles to hunt prey in the ocean, things like plankton. The reason they get washed up on the beach is that they breed in the nearby waters. So during breeding season, as the tide rushes in, some of the gelatinous blobs end up on the shore. But it still doesn't mean you'd want to be swimming there when they start rolling in. Number 8. Haunted House in South Carolina, a group of friends made the creepiest discovery of their lifetime. It happened when they went to check out an abandoned house that the locals claimed was haunted. The group got on their off-road vehicles, drove out into the rural area where the house was, and began to poke around inside. Instead of ghosts, they found a literal dead body. The corpse was decomposing inside an old freezer. According to Madison Childers, one of the friends who found the body, it was a very scary experience. At first, she couldn't even tell if it was a person because it had been there for months. The corpse had maggots writhing all over it, with an unbearable smell wafting up into their noses. As of right now, the authorities have no idea whose body this is. And to make things a little more mysterious, after the news broke, the abandoned house was burned down just days later. Could foul play have been involved? Could the dead body belong to someone who was a victim of a crime and the perpetrator came back to burn the house down to destroy the evidence of their crime? We may never know. Number 7. Ghost Ship over a century ago, one of the creepiest discoveries in history was made in the Outer Banks, North Carolina. It was August of 1921 when the ship of the Carol A. Deering was discovered run aground on the treacherous rocks along the North Carolina coast. The ship itself wasn't all that creepy, but the fact that the crew had vanished into thin air and nobody knew what happened to them made this one one of the most unsettling nautical mysteries ever. Just months before, the ship had set sail from Virginia in excellent condition. The captain was experienced, the crew all knew what they were doing, and they were bound for Rio de Janeiro with a hull full of coal. The ship delivered its cargo without any hiccups and headed back to the U.S. 
Sometime after leaving Brazil, something went terribly wrong. When the ship was finally discovered, the crew was nowhere to be found. Their personal belongings were gone, navigational equipment was missing, and the only living being still on the ship was a cat. To this day, nobody knows what happened to the crew of the Carol A. Deering, and it remains one of the creepiest shipwrecks ever discovered. What do you think happened to them? Tell us your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. Creepy Robot Portrait Something Beyond Creepy was recently unveiled at an art exhibition in London. While not exactly a discovery, it's definitely newsworthy. You see, the thing that was revealed in London was a painting, an extremely creepy one. The reason it's so disturbing is that the painting is a self-portrait painted by a machine. That's right, a literal robot with artificial intelligence has made self-portraits that are the first of their kind, which is something straight out of a science fiction movie. The android artist's name is Ida, and she's powered by the most advanced artificial intelligence software to date. She can blink, she can talk, and she can paint disturbing portraits. She was programmed by a team of experts from the University of Oxford and the University of Leeds. It took them two years to get her painting, and she's even given her own TEDx talk. This may not seem like an end-of-the-world scenario, but if robots have already begun to paint portraits of themselves, it's probably only a matter of time before they rise up and enslave humanity. Or not. Let's hope not. How do you feel about robots painting their own portraits? Is this the first step to a robotic takeover of the human race? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. Smiling Worm a Russian fisherman has pulled out a smiling worm out of the ocean. It's one of the creepiest things you'll probably see today. The fisherman's name is Roman Fyodortsov, and he found the worm in a deep part of the ocean that receives almost no sunlight. At first glance, it looks as though the worm is showing off a great big grin. It even has spots that look like its eyes and nose. However, the worm was not actually smiling. According to Mark Sedal from the Museum of Natural History in New York, that wasn't even its face. It was only the camera angle that made it look so smiley. The truth is that the creature is a type of bristle worm that lives in the coldest parts of the ocean and has survived the last five major extinction events on our planet. It's still creepy but smiling is the last thing it probably feels like doing. Would you want this worm for an extremely unique and rather creepy pet? I think it looks kind of adorable, personally. Number 4. Creepy Ancient Mask a creepy ancient mask that dates back 9,000 years has caused some archaeologists to raise their eyebrows. The disturbing mask has vacant eyes, a toothy expression, and is one of only 15 such masks ever discovered. It was found a handful of months ago by archaeology authorities in Israel. The creepy mask was actually seized by the theft prevention unit, and because of this, the experts have no idea where it was originally found. It was probably built by prehistoric people living in what is today Israel, though the exact archaeological site is unknown. At this point, you're probably wondering why prehistoric people needed a creepy mask made out of stone. The researchers don't actually know what it was used for. They did find holes along its sides that may have been for securing it to a person's face. But beyond that, the mask is a total enigma. Number 3. Ancient Burials A series of creepy burials from 4,000 years ago was just found at an archaeological site in China. The burials were part of an old settlement built by a Neolithic civilization that has no name. Chinese archaeologists believe the burials could be the earliest of their kind anywhere in the country. Other than the rotting corpses found inside the burial plots, archaeologists also uncovered earthenware objects with ritualistic characters inscribed upon them. The suggestion here is that the creepy graves may have been part of a ritual activity during the Xia Dynasty sometime between 2070 and 1600 BC. 
Seeing as these graves are ancient, archaeologists don't know much about them, why they were made, or what kind of rituals were involved. At least 50 tombs were found there, along with mysterious pits filled with grave goods and artifacts. The whole place is a mystery, but archaeologists are hoping that with more excavations, they can get to the bottom of the creepy burials. Number 2. The Inca Maiden Mummy We all know about ancient civilizations that believed in human sacrifice in order to appease the deities of cultures that are long gone now. 500 years ago, a young Incan girl, who is only 15 years old, was a victim and was sacrificed. She was originally discovered in 1999 at the very top of a volcano in Argentina. The volcano is called Yuyayako, and its peak is 22,100 feet above sea level. The girl, who was quickly nicknamed the Maiden, was likely used in a ceremonial ritual of great importance. Researchers don't know why she needed to be sacrificed, along with a 7-year-old boy and 6-year-old girl found with her. But since the Inca took her all the way to the top of the volcano, it must have been serious. After her discovery, researchers started looking at her body. She was extremely well-preserved thanks to the frozen temperatures at the top of the volcano, so they were able to get a lot of information. They discovered that she'd been fattened up before the sacrifice, fed a royal diet of maize and llama meat. She was also suffering from a bacterial lung infection at the time of her sacrifice, though the experts honestly have no idea if the Inca even knew about it. As you could probably probably guess they didn't have advanced medical machines to determine the root cause of many illnesses. Even all these years later, the Maiden is one of the eeriest, creepiest, and most mysterious mummies ever found in the world. Number 1. Switchblade Fish The creepiest fish in the world has switchblades in its face. And yes, it's absolutely terrifying. The fish, known as a stonefish, is also so incredibly dangerous that it could kill you with a single jab of the spines growing out of its back. The spines on its back have such potent venom that a single jab can kill a fully grown man in minutes. But other than just being venomous, ugly, and beyond creepy, the fish has switchblades in its face too. The bizarre discovery was recently made by scientists who refer to the switchblades as lacrimal sabers. The blades are located just under the eyes of the fish, almost like an extremely dangerous mustache. Researcher William Leo Smith says the switchblades are literally embedded in the skull of the stonefish. What makes the blades so unique is that they're able to rotate 90 degrees. In other words, the fish can actually rotate the spiky blades in whatever direction it chooses, warding off any potential predators by swimming at them with a pair of knives pointing from its head. When the fish doesn't need to use the switchblades, it keeps them pressed firmly against its head. It really makes you wonder just how many defense mechanisms the stonefish needs. The creepy critter has some of the most potent venom in the world, and it has switchblades attached to its skull. If you ask me, it really seems like overkill for a tiny fish. Which of these weird discoveries creeped you out the most? Number 8. Military Bases in Antarctica During World War II, rumors swirled around about the existence of a secret Nazi base in Antarctica. During the Nuremberg trials held in Germany to bring Nazi war criminals to justice, evidence emerged that there was a possible base in Antarctica. When the naval admiral, who eventually became the president of Germany, spoke about the existence of what he described as an invulnerable fortress in the middle of eternal ice. But is it possible that not only was there a secret Nazi military base, but that it housed secret UFO technology? In the 1950s, when UFO sightings were at their height, gossip circulated that Germans had created powerful super weapons that were developed and tested during the Third Reich. When Germany surrendered in 1945, the technology was supposedly shipped to Antarctica. As more extraterrestrial sightings were reported, they were blamed on a hidden Nazi presence in the remote location. 
The story of secret underground bunkers in Antarctica came from a real expedition that visited the continent between 1930 and 1939. German operatives explored and mapped the area, uncovering multiple underground caves and rivers. Because one of the caves was particularly large, rumors swirled that the Nazis had built a large city. Somehow, along the way, another story surfaced that said the Germans came across alien technology during these Antarctic expeditions that they studied and used it to build a number of weapons. As later research was done on records, experts found no mention that any base had been established during the expedition in the late 1930s. Because the research team was only off the Antarctic coast for a month, the ability to build the base in that time would have been impossible. Further study found that instead of sending a large-scale expedition with militarized and scientific ships, the Germans actually only sent one small ship in an effort to find new territory where they could expand their whaling industry. Also, because the boat was so small, the crew manning the ship would not have been large enough to carry the supplies needed to build a massive hidden base. It's easy to believe wild theories such as this because of the remote location and hazardous conditions in Antarctica that make it one of the least explored places on Earth. Number 7. Nazi Tunnels For more than two decades, there have been whispers around the Denver International Airport that some unusual architecture and strange murals may hide the truth that the Nazis once had secret bunkers beneath the airport. Ever since the airport was built in 1955, Various news reports on media outlets spoke about the theory that the Nazis had planned to launch their New World Order takeover from the Denver airport. So how did these rumors get started? The first piece of the puzzle comes from the coordinates for the alien landing site in the 1977 film Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Apparently, the coordinates for the alien landing in the film point to the location of the Denver International Airport. In one of the terminals, a plaque dedicated to the Freemasons, along with their unique symbol and unexplained markings, have led some to believe it is a secret language taught to them by an alien race. For decades, the Freemasons have been accused of having a hand in ongoing control over religious, political, and cultural events. Could they have a connection to the rumors of the underground bunkers? And how did those rumors get started? Apparently, beneath the airport's underground baggage transport tunnel, there's a large hidden shelter that even contractors who were working on the original airport saw evidence of. Secret entrances and unexplained tunnels contribute to the belief that they could be hiding something sinister. Another theory that the Nazis had a hand in its construction comes from the design of the runways at the airport. They may look normal to the average observer, but when viewed from above, they look like a swastika leading people to believe that it was a concealed way of showing that fascism was on the rise in the area. Why would the Nazis make it so obvious and not hide their influence if they really were trying to launch a secret takeover of the United States? People will see what they want to see and believe what they want to believe. Number 6. Roswell, New Mexico The incident in Roswell, New Mexico, the report of a crashed unidentified flying object is one of the most well-known conspiracy theories around the world. But are there still secrets to the Roswell incident that we don't know about? The original theory is that an alien spacecraft crash-landed in the New Mexico desert. A story started to circulate of a downed flying disk after unusual debris was found on a ranch 30 miles north of Roswell. Newspapers quickly picked up the headline that the Royal Air Force had captured a flying saucer on the ranch. In the years that followed, UFO enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists continued to build upon the story, saying an autopsy had been performed on the alien in the mid-1990s. But more theories surrounding the supposed crash circulated during the rise of the Nazis in Germany. During this time, some people believed that the flying object that crashed in New Mexico was part of a project to test Nazi flying machine technology. Could this be because German scientists and doctors were shipped across the Pacific in an operation known as Operation Paperclip, where the US brought German scientists to America to harness their brain power for the Cold War initiative? The original story told by the government officials was that it was a US Air Force balloon that fell to Earth that day. 
but some believe it was a spaceship hit by lightning that crashed. Two authors who insisted they interviewed more than 90 witnesses after the event believe that it was a government cover-up and that the ship crashed, killing the unknown creatures on board. A retired special agent for the US claimed that aliens landed at Roswell and that inside the ship there were survivors. Other witnesses have come forward to claim that there was a huge battle after the ship crashed between the US Special Forces and the extraterrestrials, where 60 troops and local residents were killed in a firefight between aliens. Maybe it's because there is no definitive evidence over what the spacecraft actually was that people continue to theorize about what crash landed in the New Mexico desert so many years ago. What do you think? Do you think it was an alien craft or simply a weather balloon? Share your thoughts in the comments below and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 5. Royal Family Ties to Dracula Could it be possible that the royal family has ties to the fictional vampire Dracula? The Prince of Wales may own several properties in Transylvania, but could he love the area so much because he's related to Vlad the Impaler's bloodline? By following Prince Charles's bloodline, it turns out he is connected to Vlad through his great-grandmother, Queen Mary, wife of George V, who was born a German princess. Vlad became the inspiration for Bram Stoker's Dracula. He was known for his cruel treatment by impaling his enemies on stakes in the ground and leaving them to die. In a book titled The British Chronicles, author David Hughes has compiled a family tree that offers four different variants that show how the family blood of Vlad the Impaler was transmitted through two of his sons directly to Prince Charles. A great-great-grandmother of Prince Charles' mother, Queen Elizabeth II, Hungarian Countess Claudia Reddy, was also born and raised in Transylvania in the 19th century. But there is more than just DNA connecting Prince Charles to Dracula. There is a disease known as porphyria or iron deficiency that makes the skin sensitive to light in the same way vampires avoid the sun. The disease is present among many of the royal family, Prince Charles included. Could these facts be why Prince Charles is so fond of Romania? He owns several properties in Transylvania's countryside and even does charity work as well as working to improve their ecological agriculture and conservation of Romanian culture. If you want to see for yourself how Prince Charles has ties to Dracula, you can visit one of his properties in Transylvania in the village of Viscri. With its pastel-colored houses and fortified church from the 13th century, the oldest of Transylvania. Number 4. Aliens Built Stonehenge Could one of the most well-known megalithic monuments have been built by aliens? Some people believe that the rocks at Stonehenge were in place millions of years before humans even existed. As archaeologists used new techniques to study the stones that created the ancient site, they performed radiocarbon dating on campfires from millennia ago, helping them to determine that the holes cut into the stones were made centuries before Stonehenge was built. Stonehenge was created in 2900 BC, but the holes in the rocky outcrops where the stones were taken from to build the site dated between 3400 and 3200 BC. Because some of the biggest stones at Stonehenge weighed up to 50 tons, and there are no written records to show how it was built. Some people believe it had to have been built by an elevated race. Similar to theories about the Egyptian pyramids and the Maori heads at Easter Island, some believe that aliens came to Earth and built the ancient megastructure. People who believe in ancient aliens think that extraterrestrials with superior knowledge of science and engineering shared their expertise with earlier civilizations to help them build architectural wonders including Stonehenge. Those who believe in this theory think that the stone circle at Stonehenge on the Salisbury Plain was a launching pad for spaceships or maybe even an observatory for extraterrestrial activity in the skies. The wheel hadn't been invented at the time Stonehenge was built, adding to the conspiracy theory. Even if you don't believe aliens helped the Neolithic people of England build the monument, you have to agree that it's a massive feat of construction one that seems far more advanced than the time period in which it was built. Number 3. The Bet Sphere In 1974, 
a Florida man found a mysterious sphere, a little smaller than a bowling ball, near their home that weighed a solid 22 pounds. It was fate that the Betts family found the sphere, which only appeared after a fire destroyed part of their property. It was originally thought to be a historic cannonball from Florida's Renaissance Spanish colonizer, but the metal sphere was not corroded. It was made from shiny metal or steel, something that did not exist during Spanish colonial times. After studying the sphere more closely, the family noticed something very strange. It started to move on its own, rolling, making noises, and vibrating. The family dog even noticed the bizarre movements. When she sat next to it and it started moving, she would start to whimper and cover her ears with her paws. Theories about the sphere and its strange properties were further suspected to be due to solar radiations, with the family noticing how it moved more intensely when the sun was closer and brighter. As more rumors started to spread about the sphere, the US military decided to analyze it, and the results were surprising. An expert from a research firm determined that he heard radio waves coming from inside the sphere and that it had a magnetic field around it. Could that be the reason why the sphere was able to move on its own? The sphere was sent to an astronomer and ufologist for examination, who determined that it was man-made. Still, the more people who heard about it, the more they believed in the sphere's otherworldly origins. It would take an examination by the US Navy to get a clearer picture. They identified that it was made from steel, comparing it to a stainless steel ball sold by a Jacksonville equipment supply company. In their catalog, the stainless steel ball measured 8 inches across and weighed over 21 pounds, exactly the same size as the bat sphere. Taking a closer look at how the ball was able to move on its own, the simple explanation points to uneven stone floors in the bed's house that allowed it to move or change direction. Still, some wanted to believe it was made by an unknown extraterrestrial race. Even though there was a lot of hype in the 1970s about all things UFO, the sphere was never proven to be alien. But it hasn't been disproven either. Number 2. The HAARP Antenna could a remote Alaskan facility that houses a high-frequency antenna be to blame for mind control? Scientists have been studying the base because it's home to one of the world's most powerful radio transmitters, which is why some people believe the station could be the culprit behind strange weather phenomena and powerful earthquakes. Known as the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, the HAARP facility is about 250 miles south of Fairbanks, Alaska, some conspiracy theorists think it could be a secret weapon that controls the weather and takes over the minds of unsuspecting Americans. It's easy to see why people are wary of the facility. It stretches over a massive 33 acres with 180 large antennas. One can't help but be a little suspicious of its purpose. Could it be some sort of death ray that inflicts psychic warfare to make the general public do what they want? not according to the scientists who work there. It was supposedly built to study the atmosphere by firing high-frequency radio waves where phenomena like the Northern Lights originate. So, why is the facility shrouded in such mystery? Maybe it's the remote location, or the fact that there are so many antennas that allow the facility to influence the natural flow of electricity, maintain satellites, and explore the farthest reaches of the globe from one location. Either way, HAARP has decided to share a few details of its powerful arsenal with visitors at an open house. But that doesn't mean they don't have other secrets just waiting to be discovered. Number 1. America's Stonehenge With a name like Mystery Hill, it's no wonder there are a lot of theories around the origin of a strange series of stone walls, underground chambers, and rocky structures in Salem, New Hampshire. Nicknamed America Stonehenge, the site is an archaeological wonder that no one knows the origin of. Believed to be about 4,000 years old, the site has become famous for its odd stone arrangements and puzzling cave-like buildings on the 30 acres where it sits, 40 miles north of Boston. Even though it shares the name with England Stonehenge, which is made up of concentric circles of giant megaliths, Mystery Hill is a confusing jumble of smaller stones 
that don't seem to be in any sort of pattern or design. The place is believed to have been an observatory, with some of its structures astronomically aligned to coincide with the summer solstice, which might mean it was an important place of worship to the ancient people who built it. Who those people are, though, remains a mystery to this day. The land where Mystery Hill sits passed through the hands of multiple families before a man named William Goodwin, who had an interest in collecting and studying rare objects, bought the site. Goodwin believed Irish monks who had fled the Vikings and settled in New Hampshire constructed the stone walls and underground chambers on the site. Evidence on some of the stones showed primitive stone hand tools were used to quarry the slabs, and analysis on the stones found humans had occupied the area as far back as 2000 BC. One of the more talked about features is what's known as the sacrificial stone, a massive flat stone. The stone is so large it looks like a massive table, complete with a groove carved directly into the stone that leads to a spout, which some believe may have been used to channel blood during ritual sacrifices. Along with the underground chambers, artificial caves, and hidden passages, Mystery Hill sure lives up to its name as it continues to puzzle visitors who wonder about its origins. Native Americans living in the area at the time didn't build stone structures like this, and there were no colonial farmers until the early 1700s. The mystery of its construction and purpose, along with the reason for lying the stones to the stars, may never be solved. Number 10. UFO Crash Site A man exploring a bit of forest in the United Kingdom apparently came across the crash site of a UFO. He shared pictures of his disturbing discovery after returning home. And while the photos don't exactly prove a UFO landed in the forest, it's hard to see what else could have caused such devastation. Here's what happened. Ben Landacrum from Plymouth stumbled upon a strange area of completely flattened trees in the middle of the woods while taking his dog for a stroll. According to Ben, there was no immediate clue as to why the patch of forest had literally been flattened with the trees pulled down, snapped at the top, and mangled as if a great flying saucer had made an emergency landing right there in the woods. Obviously, something huge had come crashing down from the sky. However, if it was an alien ship, the ship was long gone by the time Ben got there. To make this story even more bizarre, Ben said that as he was taking the pictures of the crushed trees, he began to feel as if someone was watching him and his dog. He also heard a bunch of weird sounds coming from deeper in the trees, so he turned around and ran back to his camper. We'll probably never know what landed here in the forest, but anyone with eyes and a bit of an imagination can clearly come to the conclusion it was most likely aliens. Number 9. The Best Bigfoot Sighting Ever Do you believe in Bigfoot? Strange footage of a mysterious black figure lurking behind the trees in the middle of the woods has been called the best Bigfoot sighting ever. It was a guy named Josh Highcliffe who discovered the creature while he was on a hunting trip. He managed to pull his phone out just in the nick of time to get a bit of video evidence. Whatever he saw, it sure looked a lot like the legendary Bigfoot. It was completely covered in black hair, at least six or seven feet tall. It was rummaging through some of the brush. Unfortunately, we don't know much more than that because the cameraman got frightened, turned and ran for his life. Nothing was chasing him, but he didn't want to stick around and give it a chance if it suddenly decided to. Josh explained in the video that the Bigfoot creature was crouching by a dead cypress tree about 50 yards from him. At first, he thought it was just a hog or maybe even a black bear. He froze where he was and started filming. When the creature stood up, Highcliffe knew immediately that it was not a hog or a bear. It definitely looked like some kind of giant hairy ape monster. He got scared and took off. It's hard to confirm that this was indeed Bigfoot, but the video evidence is definitely some of the best proof that we've gotten in the last few years. What would you have done if you were in that situation? Do you think you would continue filming or flee the scene? Number 8. Cabin in the Woods A man in Norway was roaming through a rural forest when he came upon something out of a horror movie. It turned out to be the scariest discovery he would ever make in his life, a completely abandoned cabin in the middle of the woods. 
when he stumbled out of the trees and realized that he was standing in front of a cabin that looked like it belonged in a Blair Witch movie. He worked up the courage to actually go inside and check it out. What he found inside was just terrible. There weren't any dead bodies or rotten corpses, but it was definitely abandoned. Whoever had lived in the secluded cabin had left behind almost all their belongings. There were family photos, interesting trinkets, and even clothes strewn across the floor. The kitchen was a mess. There were random personal objects on every surface, and the place looked like a hoarder's paradise. Unfortunately, the man never did learn who had been living in the cabin or why they abandoned it so abruptly. After a bit of peeking around, his good senses finally got the better of him, and he decided to hightail it out of there. What would you do if you found a creepy cabin like this in the forest? Would you go inside and check it out or run for your life? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to quickly hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 7. Skull in the Woods Police in Delaware have finally linked the mysterious human skull found in the woods behind a shopping center to a woman who had vanished without a trace in 2013. Imagine the surprise of the construction workers who went into the woods to excavate for a new building project to discover not an entire skull, but a fragment of a human skull. The workers who found the grisly remains quickly handed it over to the police, who had the Delaware Division of Forensic Sciences test it out. Nobody could tell if it was the skull of a murder victim or if it had archaeological value, but as it turned out, it was indeed a murder victim. Forensic scientists were able to identify the skull as belonging to Nancy Nicole Shipley, who was reported missing way back in April of 2013, over eight years ago. No cause of death has been determined, and no additional bones have been found yet, meaning this cold case isn't getting any warmer. And considering only a single piece of her skull was found in the woods, her demise was likely rather unpleasant. Who knows where the rest of her ended up? Number 6. The Forest of Dead Dolls A woman was left speechless and in shock after she came across a disturbing collection of dolls in the middle of the woods. This happened in a remote forest in England, in the region of Staffordshire. The woman, who refused to give her name, was on a coronavirus lockdown stroll when she made the bizarre discovery. Because this was during the lockdown, it wasn't as if there were other people around to make the dolls less creepy or to explain why they were there in the first place. It was just her and a dozen or more freaky dolls nailed to the trees. Some were tied to the trees with rope, but most had simply been nailed in place. The woman didn't really know what to do. All of a sudden, she realized she was standing in the middle of what looked like some kind of ritual playground with dead dolls fixed to the trees as far as she could see in all directions. Plus, someone had dressed up the dolls in creepy dresses, all of them exactly the same. She took some pictures and then ran for her life. To this day, nobody has any idea who put the dolls in the tree, if it was just a prank or something more sinister. Why do you think these dolls were there? Number 5. The Tunnel of Death a terrifying tunnel of death from the First World War was recently discovered in a lush French forest. The tunnel was found by Elaine and Pierre Melanowski, who had been actually looking for it since the 1990s. The tunnel was used by German soldiers in May of 1917, and there were approximately 270 Germans inside the tunnel, which stretched about a thousand feet underground. French infantry bombed the area, and the entrance to the tunnel was sealed. Sadly, all 270 German soldiers suffocated and died. Since the soldiers weren't French, the government never really tried to find their bodies. The tunnel was sealed. The bodies were trapped in the earth, and that seemed good enough for everybody. But now, the death tunnel has finally been revealed. Nobody had known the exact place of the tunnel, only the story behind it. After ripping through a rural forest with a bulldozer, the father-son duo of amateur archaeologists finally stumbled upon gas canisters, rifles, and, yes, the corpses of all 270 German soldiers who had suffocated in the collapsed tunnel. Number 4. The Oldest Forest in the World In New York, specifically in Cairo, New York, the oldest forest in the entire world has just been discovered. This brings a whole new meaning to mysterious things found in the woods, right? Researchers never expected they would find fossil evidence of a forest over 386 million years old in the Big Apple. Obviously, 
New York is the last place people would expect the oldest forest on the planet to be, but that doesn't stop it from being true. Researchers say this forest is only a few million years older than the previous oldest forest, which surprise surprise is also in New York. But how do the experts even know a forest once grew and thrived here? They discovered fossils of root systems dating back to the Devonian period. This was basically when plant life started to evolve. It was soon after that the Carboniferous period came about, a time when forests dominated the land, trees grew to enormous sizes, and the atmospheric oxygen increased from 21% to 35%. This huge burst in oxygen resulted in insects the size of elephants and dragonflies the size of eagles. Number 3. Louisiana Duck Blind In Louisiana, there is a floating man cave in the middle of the woods, like you wouldn't believe. It's actually located in the middle of the bayou, and nobody knows who built the thing. A couple of hunters stumbled onto it and uploaded the pictures online. They were shocked to discover the biggest duck blind probably ever built. This thing has three stories, with the first level big enough for four boats underneath. The second level has a fully equipped kitchen including a fridge, a pair of stoves, and a living room with two couches and a TV. There are even theater seats that can fit 14 comfortably. There's a side porch with a running toilet, a grill for cooking up lunch, and a bar to whip together some margaritas. Oh yeah, and there's a margarita machine hardwired to a couple of car batteries. On the third level of the duck blind is a crow's nest with room for three people situated 25 feet in the trees. Whoever built this bayou mansion put a whole lot of effort into it. It's just too bad we don't know who the masterminds behind this project are. Would you and your buddies like to stay in a place like this during hunting season? Number 2. Jars of the Dead In a remote forest, archaeologists have uncovered an extremely creepy graveyard that goes back over a thousand years. The graveyard is filled with old stone jars which were used like coffins to bury people inside of. Corpses were literally bent and folded, then stuffed into the jars and simply left to rot. The jars of the dead were found in the Southeast Asian country of Laos. Now, you may have heard of this place before, but this is actually a new discovery. There are at least 15 sites in Laos that have stone burial jars. The one we're talking about right now was just recently found by archaeologists with the Australian National University, quite far away from the main jar sites. 137 new jars were uncovered in a secluded woodland, never before seen by researchers. Unfortunately, the experts still don't really know why these jars of death were ever used or who it was stuffed inside them. The only thing this news discovery has taught archaeologists is that the practice was more widespread than previously thought. Number 1. Alabama Tavern Archaeologists recently discovered a trove of interesting artifacts from an Alabama tavern in the woods. They unearthed pieces of pottery, nails, and shards of glass from a secluded inn and tavern that played a surprising role in the Civil War. Some of the artifacts go back to before Alabama became the 22nd state of America in 1819. The team that made the interesting discoveries is from the University of Alabama and they found all these incredible artifacts by digging on the grounds of what is today the Pope's Tavern Museum. It's a local history museum that was once used by both the Union forces and the Confederate forces. During the Civil War, it had been a hospital and command center for both sides, but other than just a few scraps of glass left behind by settlers hundreds of years ago, the archaeologists also found some cool Civil War artifacts buried in the dirt, such as a rare Kennedy long rifle and a colonel's uniform from the Confederate side. What's the craziest thing you've ever found in the woods? Let us know in the comments and be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, come back soon for more. See you next time. Bye.